Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Idos This, and today I am going to be ranking the 10 legendary weapons available to you currently in the demo. I will be ranking the legendary weapons in terms of looks, mods, and usage. 10 being the worst and 1 being the best. Bear in mind, this is ranked by initial mods, not taking into consideration that we will be able to change the mods in a full game. I will also leave a link in the description that takes you to a video I did that showcases all these 10 legendary weapons with gameplay. Without further ado, let's get it. Starting things off with number 10, the Migraine. This is a submachine gun with a clip size of 50, an easily manageable recoil. But as you hold down the trigger, the bullet spread gets wider. Its tier 3 mod is Ultimate Bleeding Bullets. Shots inflict bleed on enemies, and its tier 2 mod is Bombs Ahead. Killing shots turn enemies into an anomaly bomb, dealing X amount of damage. Cool down of 3 seconds. As of this ranking, the weapon is currently not working as intended, as the mods clash with each other. One mod cancels the other out, specifically bombs ahead. This mod does not work at the moment. In terms of looks, I found this one to be the worst. Not much of a fan of the carcass look to it, although I do love the blue glow when holding it in hand. I have not used this weapon much as it is bugged, but if the bombs ahead mod was working, I would see it acting the same way the Pyromancer's thermal bomb works, without any armor mods attached to it. Number 9 Grim Marrow This is a light machine gun with a clip size of 80, an easily manageable recoil, but in terms of bullet spread, it actually has the opposite effect to the migraine, whereas you hold the trigger down. The spread tightens up. Its tier 3 mod is Singularity. Killing shots create an anomaly singularity. When destroyed, the singularity explodes, dealing X amount of damage to enemies within a 6.5 meter radius. And its tier 2 mod improves stiffening. Shots inflict slow on enemies, cooldown of 4 seconds. The reason this is number 9 is because of the same bug the migraine has. The singularity mod does not work as it clashes. With the improved stiffening mod. In the looks department, the bone caging and the amethyst crystal glow give it quite a decent look. Again with usability, it is the same as the migraine where one mod does not work. This mod seems like it works the same as bombs ahead but instead of the enemy exploding, it leaves a bomb instead or when destroyed, does damage within a radius. Number 8 The Iceberg This is a bolt action rifle, in other words a sniper with a clip size of 5. Its tier 3 mod is Winter Blast. Critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies with a 4 meter radius. And its tier 2 mod is Icebreaker. Killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode, dealing X amount of damage. As of this video, this weapon also seems like its tier 3 mod is bugged, which is why I place it 8. From testing, headshots count as critical shots, and this does not trigger the Winter Blast effect. Although at some point during the demo this mod did work, and when it did work, it worked quite well in conjunction with the Icebreaker mod, killing lower tier enemies that were grouped up. The frozen effect of the weapon looks amazing and in certain lighting conditions, makes the weapon look transparent. This weapon will work well with the Technomancer, as the Technomancer is a long range based class, and with its cryo turret freezing enemies. Number 7 Golem's Limb This is a pump action shotgun with a clip size of 6 with a decent bullet spread Its tier 3 mod is Golem Rising Killing shots grant you a protective Golem effect for 3 seconds and its tier 2 mod is Vampire Killing shots grant 15% skill leech boost for 20 seconds This in my opinion is actually number 10 The only reason it is number 7 as of this video is because of the bugs that the Migraine and the Green Mara have the Golem Rising mod that grants you a Golem effect for 3 seconds provides little if any protection at all in my experience. It is probably best used together with the Devastator. I have to say I do like the look of the weapon though. The regular looking shotgun with the Golem effect and the Golem effect particles floating around with the yellow lighting. Number 6 Amber Vault This is a double gun with a clip size of 60 with easily manageable recoil, but bullet spread widens over time when the trigger is held down. 
This tier 3 mod is Killing Spree. Killing shots increase damage by 30% for this weapon for 30 seconds. Bonus deteriorates with time and stacks up to 5 times. And its tier 2 mod is Brain Eater. Critical shots do not consume ammo. I have a feeling this will be a great endgame weapon or at least its mod Brain Eater will be. Imagine a boss with adds. Use this weapon to kill the adds and gain that killing spree effect, giving you 30% damage stacking up to 5 times. That's 150% extra damage for 30 seconds. Then aim for the boss's head or weak slash critical point. With pretty much infinite ammo depending on how much you can keep your aim on that point. In terms of looks, meh is all I can say to be honest. And that concludes part 1 of the ranking the 10 legendary weapons that are available in the demo currently. If you are interested in what the next 5 legendary weapon rank ranks are, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn notifications on for the next video. Just do it! Thanks for watching.